Hello friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today, we are here at the Harry Potter Photographic Exhibition here in Covent Garden, London. And I am joined by the very magical Sasha. Would you like to introduce yourself to my magical online family? Hi everyone, my name's Sasha and I work here at the Harry Potter Photographic Exhibition. So you know all of the magical facts. Everything. You've got all Everything. the knowledge, mm -hmm. amazing. So for those watching that have never visited here before can you let everybody know what is the Harry Potter photographic mm -hmm. exhibition absolutely so we hold many iconic photographs from the filmmaking of Harry Potter series and Fantastic Beasts as well we also have some props and some photo, photo opportunities along the way as well so much magic to discover so if people want to visit here can you tell everybody where is it and how can we get here Absolutely. So we're based in the heart of Covent Garden. We're about a five minute walk from Covent Garden Tube Station and about a seven minute walk from Leicester Square Tube Station as Amazing. well. Amazing. So if you're in London and you want something new and magical to do on your magical trip out, then this might be the place to visit. How long do you reckon it would take to look at all of the magic that is here? We would probably recommend about an hour, but obviously you can take as much time as you want. There's a lot of stuff to take in and a lot of facts to find out from our lovely hosts. Yeah, so take your time, don't rush around, take it all in. But yeah, so we're gonna take you around and have a little look. I'm very excited because I know that you know some magical things. But first, if you're brand new to this channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to come part of our weird magical online family. Let's go, I'm ready for a tour. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so here we are at the Harry Potter Photographic Exhibition at the beginning. I'm very excited. You've got loads of magic to show me, haven't you? So Absolutely. shall we go ahead? Let's have go. A look. Let's have a look around. So the first thing that I am seeing is this gigantic Hogwarts acceptance letter. It is probably the biggest one I've ever seen. It's amazing, isn't it? Really, it's kind of the first big photo opportunity we have and there are many along the way as well. Oh, so there's more magical photo ops for us to get excited about. I love the big wax seal as well. It's very, yeah. very cool. So let's move through the exhibition. Oh, we've got a diagonally section. Yeah, this is the first section we come to. The most magical street that there is. We've got a <laughs> leaky cauldron sign up there. I'd love that in my house. We do have some props in this section here. Um, in this one, we have the lovely authentic scarves. <gasps> they're beautiful. So they're the ones from Philosopher's Stone. So many things. I'm loving all of these display cases with a little bit of magic in each one. We've got the wall, so we've stepped into Diagon Alley. We've got yeah. Ollivanders. Great thing about this exhibition is each section you go into is themed oh, for the pictures in that section. That's exciting. Really exciting. So you get to go into a little, a little bit deeper into the magic as you go around. Absolutely. That's so cool. I found Gringotts, you guys. Found Gringotts. Congratulations. I found I found, oh, wow, I mean, that's beautiful. We've got an actual book. Yep, so this one is actually from Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. <gasps> when they filmed on location in Australia House, which is actually just around the corner from here, so oh. you can, if you <gasps> want to jump on there on your way home, you can. They couldn't use Australia House for the later movies, so it did move to Leaveston in the end, especially for the last two when it gets destroyed by the dragon. <gasps> um, but yeah, it's beautiful got a gold bar in there keep, keep <laughs> your hands to yourselves guys <laughs> there's a lot of photographs that I've never ever seen yeah, I could spend a long time in here <laughs> it's amazing the detail that you miss in the movies that you get to see especially mm. with the different locations and stuff it's it's really, really special. Yeah, just love behind the scenes of everything, how everything's made and yes. like the amount of people that are behind these magnificent movies. <gasps> Look at these, We've got some quills in here, Absolutely. some little textbooks. So for... these are all the authentic ones from the movies oh, really? designed by Mina Lima, of I course. I love Mina Lima, the graphic designers who, of the Wizarding World. I know, who doesn't love Mina Lima? They are absolutely wonderful. Oh, we've got some little footsteps. Let me just follow these <laughs> around. <gasps> what is this magnificent thing that I have just found? Found. So this is what we call our viewfinder. Our viewfinder. Wow, it looks very cool. Shall I have a little look yes, through one of these? <gasps> these will have little snippets, little knowledge. I'm not showing you guys what is in here. 
you won't believe it. There is some serious magic going on. It's, so you'll you'll yeah. have to book your tickets if you want to know what's inside the viewfinder. But top secret. It is top secret. It looks very cool. Oh, look at that. This looks like it's from sort of. It looks like it's from Snape's classroom. That is absolutely correct. Is so, it <laughs> amazing? This is probably my favourite fact. Ooh. So when the prop designers were designing the all the potions and bottles and what was in them, hmm. they actually went to London Zoo and bought loads of little animal figures. Oh my gosh. And kind of broke them up and put like spider's legs on an owl. Oh. I know, really random. We've got some books as well. We've got um, Gilderoy Lockhart on yep. fogging the future for your divination. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, Forbidden Forest. I'm not yeah. sure if I want to go into this section, to be honest. <laughs> it's forbidden. I'm not first year though, so. That's absolutely, you're fine, you're All fine. Right. Let's we'll pretend go in. Oh, thanks. Any, you know, Voldemort. Got Draco with the monster. I love the monster book of monsters. It's one of my favourite things. The eyes freak me out. Oh, but eyes you, not for me. Oh, you got to stroke its little spine <laughs> and you'll be all right. So we come to another lovely costume, our second costume in the exhibition. I recognise this. I think all of you guys will as well. <laughs> this is Hermione mm -hmm. from The Deathly Hallows. The Deathly Hallows, yep. Yeah. We do have her iconic beaded bag as well. Oh, yes, Hermione's bag is absolutely beautiful. I mean, she's got good fashion sense, really. She's. I mean, I'd wear this out now. So is this the authentic The authentic, one? Yeah. This has come straight from the Warner Brothers archives. So Emma here. Watson has been in this? Yes. No wonder there's a case yes. around it. <laughs> Look with your eyes. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's like she's standing right in front of yes. us. Yes. So we've got another costume here. Yes. Not sure I want to get too close to this one. This so, is Voldemort. Yes. So a really amazing fact about this costume is during the filming of Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows, as each Horcrux gets, gets destroyed, Voldemort's robes become more green, more decayed, so it looks like he's getting weaker. I did know that I fact. Knew, I knew you would. I, I did. You did you guys know that fact? Let us know down below. But I just think oh, the amount of detail that goes into the costumes, yes. it's so fantastic to see these up close yeah. and them lit beautifully because you know the amount of effort like the distressing that we can see in this and I think you also when you see it this close you get a feel for the weight of yeah. the costume because this is one that is really heavy you wouldn't think it when you see it in the movies yeah and can you imagine like wearing that all day, all day. on set <laughs> <laughs> so this is another one of our major photo opportunities and um, you can find a broomstick I'm gonna I'm gonna go have a little sit so Oh. In a major part of the, you know, Harry Potter movies and a lot of oh. movies that use CGI and the special effects is the green screen. <gasps> so this type of green screen is called chroma green. Okay. That's the colour, chroma green. That's amazing. Um, this broom, I feel like I'm ready to go <laughs> play some Quidditch and catch some golden snitches. So when you visit here at the Harry Potter photographic exhibition here in London, Covent Garden, you can get your very own photographs of you on a broom and honestly they make the magic for you so when it's all printed out they're absolutely beautiful something else that you can get when you're here it's a ministry of magic id card that's correct yeah i squealed when i first realized that they did this shall we go to the ministry yeah, of magic let's go. can you show me the entrance <laughs> absolutely can. okay come this way okay i'm, I'm coming <laughs> there it is i'm ready i'm ready to go here it is i just want one of these in my house all right guys I'm sorry, but I'm going to leave you here. <laughs> I'm going to the ministry. I'm kidding. I'm not. But how beautiful is this? So if you're into your Instagrams and you like to get the snap, the gram, this is probably my favourite mm -hmm. photo opportunity here at the Harry Potter Photographic Exhibition. I mean, look at it. Yeah. How could you not love it? Especially when you're here in London mm -hmm. as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. And you can do some really cool boomerangs if you're like, coming out of the door, yep. spinning. You could do some very good content with Absolutely. that and be very magical so we've been to the ministry we've been to the ministry I'll tell you what this is exhausting we've been to the ministry <laughs> we've been to Diagon Alley we've been to platform nine and three quarters and now we're about to travel the world oh this is fantastic <laughs> beasts have found Makusa absolutely so we've got photos from both fantastic beasts the first one and then Crimes of Grindelwald as well. These are cool on the yes, ceiling. So I think you have to look up when you're here. I mean, it's, it's got just... got the Makusa shield. Yeah, it's, mag it's so big. So big. <laughs> it's very majestic indeed. So I've got a question for you. Yes, have you it. seen Harry Potter and the Cursed Child in theatre? I have, yes. Now, I have no idea how the magic works 
on stage with this time turner because mm -hmm. they make it spin. And here it is up close. When I first saw this, I, I was just fangirling. I was like, this is so cool. It's amazing. It's absolutely, I want one. I wish they sold them. <laughs> Okay, so we are coming to the end of the Harry Potter photographic mm -hmm. exhibition, but that is not the end of the magic because where are we about to walk into, Sasha? We're going to go to London's only bottle butter beer bar. Bottle butter beer bar. That is a big <laughs> mouthful. Say it three <laughs> times fast. I am ready for butter beer. I'm very thirsty. It's thirsty work looking around there. Absolutely. Now, these are just beautiful. Is there some facts about this? Yeah, so these are a brand new logo designed by Mina Lima. I'm a big fan of the gold foiling gold and foiling. I also am a big fan of butterbeer. So okay. I'm going to pour myself one. Now, you said to me, if I lift it high, I can make a bit of a throffy top. That's it. <gasps> there it there is. There you go. There's the butterbeer. Oh, look, it fit perfectly. I mean, it looks fantastic. It smells. I'm going to do a taste test tastes very nice i'm gonna cheers you for thank you for showing cheers. me around the You're harry potter photographic exhibition today so if you guys at home are watching and you want to come visit the harry potter photographic exhibition here in covent garden london then where can they go get their tickets say it again <laughs> sasha harrypotteronlocation.co.uk and we would really love to see you and look forward to welcoming you um, to see all the magic. There is a lot of magic here, so head on down into my description, click on that link, book your tickets, and look, I've been to the shop as well. I know you're all going to ask. <laughs> I've bought half of the store. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a separate video. But thank you guys so much for watching, and definitely come visit here next time you're in London. Awesome. Thank you very much, Sasha. You're welcome. Bye. Pleasure. Bye. <gasps> right, what a beer time. <laughs> Oh, it's nice and cold. It's very nice, refreshing. Mm -hmm.